Science 3 Today, we are going to study the basic needs of living things. Are you ready to learn? Learning competency with code. Identify the basic needs of humans, plants, and animals such as food, air, water, and shelter. Children, I want you to look at your surroundings. You will observe that you can find many different things in our world. Every living organism on earth needs some basic things to survive. The amount, way, form, or kind of these needs vary from organism to organism. Plants and animals have the same needs as humans. All living things need food, water, and air. Plants need food, the minerals and nutrients from the soil, energy from the sun, and water. They also need the carbon dioxide from plants. These are the basic needs of plants for them to make their own food. How about humans and animals? Humans and animals need enough nutritious food, clean water to drink, comfortable and safe home, and clean air to breathe. These are our needs. Activities common to humans, animals, and plants include breathing, eating, drinking, movement, and living in a habitat or a place where living things live. Humans, animals, and plants breathe the same air. The air they breathe is from the environment. We all know that we need oxygen for us to survive. On the other hand, plants need carbon dioxide in making their food. Humans, animals, and plants do not eat the same food, but they get the food from one source, the environment. We humans eat food to make our body strong and healthy. Eating a balanced diet keeps our body healthy and strong. A balanced diet contains carbohydrates, fats, proteins, vitamins, and minerals, and water in correct proportion. Humans, animals, and plants drink the same water but not from the same source. The water they drink is from the environment. We should drink at least 8 glasses of water a day. It will keep our body from getting dehydrated after a long day's work. Make sure that the water you drink is clean and safe. Humans, animals, and plants do not live in the same habitat. All these habitats are found in the environment. There are living things that can survive in cold weather while others prefer hot weather.
Now, let's tackle the five basic needs of living things. These are, the first one is, hmm, what do you think? Very good, sunlight. This is probably the most important need for all living organisms because it is the source of energy, heat, and light. What do you think is the second need of living things? Very good! Water Water is the medium in which living cells and tissue work. Water is also a living environment for many plants and animals. Next, we have the air. Air is made up of several gases, but the two most important gases are oxygen and carbon dioxide. Without oxygen, animals will die, and without carbon dioxide, plants cannot survive. Next, we have the food or nutrients. Living things need energy for function. Energy is needed to grow, reproduce, move, and to work. Think what would happen if you stayed for three days without food. Hmm. A habitat with the right temperature. Too cold or too hot? Every living organism needs the ideal temperature to survive either on land or in water. Now, let's have some activities. Living things. I want you to use the words inside the box to complete the sentences. Number one. All living things need blank to drink. All living things need blank to drink. Number two, all living things need to eat blank. All living things need to eat blank. Number three, all living things require blank to live in. All living things require blank to live in. Number four. All plants need blank to grow. All plants need blank to grow. Number five. All living things need to breathe blank. All living things need to breathe blank. Activity 2. What do we need to survive? Put a check on the column if people, animals, and plants need the following. Perform the activity listed in the last column. So in the first column, you will see the needs of living things, food, water, air, habitat, and clothing. I want you to put a check on the column if people, animals, and plants need them. Let's answer the follow-up questions. What activities are common to people, animals, and plants? What activities are common to people, animals, and plants? B. Do people, animals, and plants breathe the same air? Where do they get the air they breathe? 
Do people, animals, and plants breathe the same air? Where do they get the air they breathe? C. Do people, animals, and plants eat the same food? Where do they get the food they eat? Do people, animals, and plants eat the same food? Where do they get the food they eat? Letter D. Do people, animals, and plants drink the same water? Where do they get the water they drink? Do people, animals, and plants drink the same water? Where do they get the water they drink? Letter E. Do humans, animals, and plants live in the same or different habitats? Can we find these habitats in the same environment? Do humans, animals, and plants live in the same or different habitats? Can we find these habitats in the same environment?